Tottenham had a fantastic season this time around, just to say missing out on the Premier League title. But it's not like they didn't splash any cash, spending almost £60 million bringing in Victor Wanyama, Vincent Janssen and throwing away £30 million on Moussa Sissoko. And despite those signings, Spurs missed out on the league by 7 points to Chelsea. But if they have signed some of the targets they were linked with last summer, things might have changed. And with that being said, here are 7 targets that Spurs could have signed last summer. Isco. A Spaniard has been excellent for Real Madrid this season, but he could have been at White Hart Lane. According to the Mirror, Mauricio Pochettino wanted to bring in Isco on loan before signing him on a permanent deal. The deal, however, never materialised, and Spurs were forced into signing Moussa Sissoko, and Isco went on to win the league and Champions League. Mario Goetze. Spurs really wanted to add some creativity and provide Harry Kane with plenty more chances to score, and the German would have been great at that. Multiple reports claim that Goetze was coming to the Premier League with just a £20 million fee being quoted. In fact, Spurs apparently had several meetings with Goetze's dad in order to convince him to sign for them. However, Goetze Jr. decided to rejoin Borussia Dortmund, but sadly only played 11 games this season after suffering from a debilitating metabolic disorder. Genie Wijnaldum Newcastle slapped a £25 million price tag on the Dutchman, which looked a bit steep at the time. And despite Spurs being interested, Wijnaldum decided to move to Liverpool, and he was excellent in Jurgen Klopp's side this season, playing 36 games, scoring 6 goals, and creating almost 50 chances for his team, which has easily repaid the £23 million fee. Adam Lallana Pochettino had worked with the England international at Southampton, and last summer made his second attempt to bring him to White Hart Lane. And following Liverpool signing Wijnaldum, the Sun claimed that Poch was ready to pay £20 million for the 29-year-old. Another signing that Spurs could have done with, Lana was fantastic for Liverpool this season, scoring 8 times and picking up 7 assists. Michi Batsuai. It looked like it was between West Ham and Spurs in the race to sign the Belgian forward. And after an impressive showing at the Euros and scoring 17 times for Marseille, Batsuai looked like he would be a great fit at White Hart Lane. Pochettino, however, plumped for Vincent Janssen, who turned out to be absolutely <laughs> And Chelsea went on to splash £33 million on Batuai, who scored just five times in 20 appearances. Saido Berahino. Sick of hearing Tony Pulis scream his name over and over, Berahino decided he wanted to leave West Brom. In fact, the 23-year-old was long linked with a move to Spurs, who reportedly had four bids rejected. But after The Guardian reported that West Brom had rejected another bid of upwards of £20 million for Berahino and more offers from Stoke, it looked like it was never going to happen. But Berahino did finally get his move away from Tony Pulis and his dodgy tracksuits by joining Stoke in January for just £12 million. That being said though, Spurs might have been lucky to miss out on him. He played just four times for West Brom and 13 for Stoke and failed to score at all. Sandro Ramirez. Numerous Spanish newspapers reported that Spurs were keen on the former Barcelona man, and he was on a free. However, Malaga managed to beat them to the signing of the 21-year-old, and he went on to score 14 goals in 30 La Liga appearances. In fact, he's been so good that several British newspapers are now reporting that Spurs are ready to activate his £5.5 million release clause. And that's our list. Which player do you think Spurs should have signed? Let us know in the comments section. And be sure to like, share and subscribe to Footy Feed for more great content.